titled Relishing the Highs and Surviving the Lows. Pasha Pashalach, one of those rare moments we have a Shira. The Mechilta says not too often that we have a Shira. From the beginning of creation to the end of Tanakh, it says ten times we have the concept of a Shira. What is Shira? All of David's to Hillam, all the praises to God, there's no Shira there. What is Shira exactly? So some say that what Shira is, you have day-to-day -day happiness and simcha and challenges and all that. Shira, specifically as relates to the Yamsuf, here the Jews are in slavery for generations, going through Gehenna, trying to survive, trying to make sense. Then finally Moshe comes along and says, wow, this is a great salvation, but it only gets worse. And they're continuing on with the slavery. Then all of a sudden there's a Maka. Wow, hope again. But Paro is stubborn. Oh, but then he says he's going to let them go. He doesn't let them go. Every time there's hope, it's squashed. And they're just going through it and through it. And finally they leave Egypt. But their Paro is chasing after them. Going into the Yamsa of splits for them. And they're chasing after them again. Once they see the Egyptians dead at the Yamsa, they realize, wow, that's it. The drama with the Egyptians is over. They're gone. They're buried. They're dead. They're finished. A few hundred years of pain, of slavery. It's gone. And they see a salvation. And they see how everything fits together. Yosef being sold, going to Egypt, sustaining the brothers. They end up in Egypt for slay as slavery. But now the United Nations ready to go and accept the Torah. It all fits in. It's a wow moment of the highest proportions when you have those rare moments in life as a nation. That's when it's time for Shira. All the components fit in together. Of Sherman in his Oscar Chumash writes this, that he elaborates on this, and you see everything fit in. That's when it's time for Shira. It's not that often that we have a Shira moment. This, of course, could be in a national life, a communal life, a family life, individual life where things are so hard and so challenging it's the days, weeks, months, years, decades, and wow, it all fits in. That's a shear. And it's important to know we have those moments of incredible celebration. A person has an accomplishment working for years to learn and struggles to get smicha. Wow, that's a shira moment. person waiting for years for a shira to hold of the friends, married, kids, and 26, 27, 28, 29. Finally, the right shira comes along, and that's a shira. Of course, every wedding is a simcha, but then every wedding is a shira too, but certainly even greater. And we have those moments. And then we also have the horrible moments in life where our connection to God is challenged. Yes, the Shulchan says, whatever God throws at us, we take it for simcha, and we understand it's all part of a divine plan. Yes, that's true, we understand that here, and many some people on the level to understand it in the heart as well, but other people not. And it's those low moments we're struggling just to hold on to Hashem and keep our connection. It's not always easy. And then we have the day-to-day. -day. The day-to-day -day we have our brachos. We may not have those sheer, sheer moments in the day-to-day. -day. We don't have that horrible moment. We have the day-to-day -day connection to Hashem where we're growing and striving and managing life's challenge, financial and family and shalom bias and working with our colleagues, whatever it may be. And I think it's important if we understand that life has these three levels, many more, but three that we're mentioning, those rare Shira moments where we're like, wow, everything fits in. Everything is just great, God. And then we sometimes have those horrible downs where things are so hard, or physical, financial, health, shalom bias is so hard. How are we going to make it? How are we going to survive? In the middle, day to day, where things are good and nice and pleasant, go to the daily grind and keep in growing spiritually. I think if we have clarity and we understand that life consists of these three kinds of experiences, so then when we're in one of those stages, we have it, ah, okay, this is that sheer moment. I know it's not going to last. And then might go a day later, a horrible moment. And the Yamsuf, we had Shira, and the next few Psukim is about they were starving and complaining to God. If we have that organized in our lives and we understand, we have a proper perspective, we may be able to segue from the horrible moments to the Shira moments, from the Shira moments to the horrible moments, horrible moments to the day to day moments. And yet, Hashem, we should be able to take, with, take whatever Hashem throws at us. 
and have simcha. Maybe not always shira, but simcha, understanding this is all part of God's plan. And we should make the most of it, grow, and get close to Hashem each moment.